This is the home screen for the ZGAS Instruments web-based user interface. This is the first screen that will be displayed once you access your analyzer online. This screen will display the model for the type of unit that is installed, as well as the serial number and the current software and hardware versions installed on the unit. The dew point page displays the most recently measured dew point. It will also display the username, location, date, and timestamp data for the previous test. This screen will look different for hydrocarbon or water only dew point analyzers. In this case, it displays the water, hydrocarbon dew point, and moisture content. These screens are for demonstration purposes only. The test results displayed on this page and the next page are not based on real world data. The history page allows you to view a summary of all the previously measured dew points. The arrows on the side will help you navigate through the data to find previous dew points. You may also download the test reports to your PC or view them in the browser. Clicking on the date stamp will open a new tab and allow you to view the report. Clicking on the timestamp will download the test report to your PC in CSV format. As you can see here, the summaries are organized into columns, displaying your hydrocarbon temperature and pressure, your water temperature and pressure, as well as your moisture content. This is the operations page. This page will display the current test cycle as well as the associated running data for that test. On the right, we see the info pane. This will display the status of the test, the signal levels for channel 1 and 2 and their associated gain levels, the temperature of the measurement cell, the pressure inside the cell, the temperature of the heat sink, as well as the temperature around the analyzer. Below that, we see it displays 2 volts. This is the current stage of cooling that the cooler is currently working at. In the graph, we see a visual representation of the data on the right. The yellow line represents channel 1 and the red line represents channel 2. The blue line is the temperature curve. Notice that it is falling as the chamber is cooling. The green line represents the pressure. This test has found a hydrocarbon dew point. Notice on the graph that the representation of channel 1 has changed. Notice that the test is still running and we are at 12 volts of cooling. The test will continue to run, in this case, until it finds a water dew point or reaches the minimum cooling temperature. Once the test has ended, the data will be logged into the dew point and history pages. On the setup page, you'll be able to enter in your user information, adjust your date and time information, and select your units of measurement. You will also be able to adjust your Modbus settings as well as increase the wait time in between cycles. The username and location that you choose to enter will be displayed in the reports for each dew point measurement. The output page is where you can set your scaling for your 4 to 20 milliamp analog outputs. You can set the scaling for temperature, pressure, and moisture. You may also set your dew point minimum temperature. This is the temperature you wish the analyzer to cool down to. The lowest temperature is negative 30. You may also set your alarm points 
for hydrocarbon, water, and moisture content, as well as your overpressure alarm. Here is where you can assign your analog outputs one through four to display the data points you wish for them to display. You may also assign your relays one through three and toggle them to ensure that they are functioning properly. If you notice here on the side, each AO shows the correct amperage as well as the corresponding value for their assignment. If you wish to fine tune the output, you click on the integrate button. This will load the calibration table for the analog outputs. If you click on the four milliamp, Analog output one will now show four milliamps at the output. You can measure this with your meter and fine tune the calibration to match your meter. You can repeat this for four, 10, 15, and 20 milliamps for all four analog outputs. When you're finished, hit confirm to save the changes. The logs page displays all changes made to the software by the user, as well as any alarms that may have been triggered. Everything on this page is date and time stamped.